Pleasant morning to my dear lovable students. Welcome to Max class. In this conversation, we are going to discuss about exercise 5.5, chapter number 5. What is the name of chapter number 5? Binomial theorem, sequence and series. I am moving to question number 2 from exercise 5.4, solution. First one, the given condition, cube root of 1001. This is how can you expand? 1001, the whole term divided by 1 by 3. The 1001, we can write it, 1000 plus 1, the whole power of 1 by 3. Next step, 1000 take common outside means, 1000 power of 1 by 3, then 1 plus 1 by 1000, the whole power of 1 by 3. So, 1000, we can split it 10 power 3, because 10 into 10 into 10 means 1000 will come. The whole power of 1 by 3. So, 3, 3 cancel means 10 into, again 1 plus 1 by 1000, the whole power of 1 by 3. Now, one formula is there, binomial expansion, 1 plus 1 by x. So, 1 plus the whole power of positive n means, what is the formula? 1 plus nx, then plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x cube plus dot dot dot. So, x is equal to what is the value? This one condition is always modulus x less than 1. But directly if you take this value, we can write it 1 plus 1000, the whole power of 1 by 3 means not possible. Why? The modulus x value always less than, this is 1000. 1000 we can't say, not equal, not equal less than, isn't it? That's why we have to consider for 1 by 1000. So, 1 by 1000 means 0 point something will come. So, we can accept. So, therefore, x is equal to what is the value? 1 by 1000. Then, n is equal to we have 1 by 3. Now, we can apply 1 plus n value 1 by 3 into x means 1 by 1000. Then, plus n value 1 by 3 into n minus 1 means definitely minus 2 by 3. 2 factorial means true. We can write in reciprocal 1 by true. Then, Next, x square means 1 by 1000 the whole square. 1 by 1000 the whole square. Next condition, it's moving on. Okay. Now, the balance, they are definitely 2 to cancel. So, 1 plus, but outside, what is the constant time? Is it 10 is constant, isn't it? Now, 1 plus 1 by 3 into 1000 means 3000. Then, plus into minus, minus. Then 1 by 3 into 3, 9. Already 3, 0 is it? The whole square means we can write it 6, 0. Then plus dot dot. This is the answer for. But they are, they are asking the question also approximately value. So approximately means definitely 0 point. Then consider for first two numbers means what will happen? 10 inside 1 plus 1 by 3000. Therefore, remove the bracket means 10 plus 10 divided by 3000 means 0, 0 cancel. There is 10 plus 1 by 300 means approximately 0 0.00, double 3 is moving on. Therefore, we can write it 10 point double 0, double 3 means the two decimal place means we can write it 10 point double 0, 3. This is the answer for question number 2. Okay, I will continue the next question. Question number 3. Prove that cube root of x cube plus 6 minus again cube root of x cube plus 3 is approximately equal to we have to prove 1 by x square. Okay, solution. First, what is the condition? Cube root of x cube plus 6 is equal to without the cube root means x cube plus 6 the whole power of 1 by 3. Therefore, x cube take common outside means 1 plus 6 by x cube the whole power of 1 by 3 again x cube the power of 1 by 3 then 1 plus 6 by x cube the power of 1 by 3 so 3 3 cancel means x then 1 plus 6 by x cube the power of 1 by 3 already we know the binomial expansion formula 1 plus 6 the whole power n means 
1 plus nx then plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square plus dot dot dot. So, n is equal to 1 by 3, n is equal to 1 by 3 then x is equal to 6 by x cube. Therefore, x outside common then 1 plus nx means n is equal to 1 by 3 into x means 6 by x cube then plus n into n minus 1 means definitely 1 by 3 into minus 2 by 3 then minus 2 by 3 1 factorial means 2 factorial means we can write now 1 by 2 next condition x square means 6 by x cube therefore we can write it 36 divided by x to the power 6 plus dot 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 now is so 2 2 cancel isn't it the next one so 1 into x means x plus again is there anything cancel 2 times isn't it therefore then x and x square means only 2 by x square remaining if you take means definitely will be large so no need to consider okay that's all then second condition what is the second condition x cube plus 3 so x cube plus 3 the whole power of 1 by 3 this is also x cube take common outside means 1 by 1 plus 3 by x cube the whole power of 1 by 3 now separate term means x cube into so x cube the whole power of 1 by 3 then inside 1 plus 3 by x cube the whole power of 1 by 3 so again 3 3 cancel means x in bracket of 1 plus 3 by x cube the power of 1 by 3. Now we can consider the same formula. So what will happen? The same formula means but n is equal to 1 by 3 as it is n is equal to 1 by 3 then x value 3 by x cube isn't it? So, x value 3 by x cube. Three by x. So, what will happen now? Look at there. So, condition 1 plus n x, isn't it? So, outside we have common x, isn't it? Then x 1 plus n x means 1 by 3 x. Sorry, x value already we found now. 1 by 3 into 3 by x cube next condition plus n into n minus 1 means 1 by 3 into minus 2 by 3 into x cube means x square means what is the meaning definitely 9 by x to the power 6 it's dot 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 therefore if you apply each and every time multiply x means what will happen x plus so 3 3 cancel again x and x cube means 1 by x square so this is second answer in the second time answer so now what is the main question so cube root of x cube plus 6 minus cube root of x cube plus 3 is equal to the first one we found what the answer x plus 2 by x square then second one common minus therefore plus into minus means minus x plus 1 by x square means minus 1 by x square so plus x minus x cancel then remaining 2 by x square minus 1 by x square therefore common denominator x square 2 minus 1 isn't it so 2 minus 1 therefore 1 by x square we need to prove also 1 by x so hence proved okay i will continue the next question question number 4 isn't it the condition so square root of 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x we have to prove the result 1 minus x plus x square by 2 so this is whole therefore the first condition if we remove the square means 1 minus x the whole power 1 by 2 denominator 1 plus x the whole power 1 by 2 so numerator as it is 1 minus x the whole power 1 by 2 then denominator bring out numerator part means into 1 plus x the power positive 1 by 2 we have to change it negative 1 by 2 so 1 by 1 we have to find it the first condition 1 minus x the power of 1 by 2 
what will happen 1 minus x the power of 1 by 2 means look at there this is condition what is the formula power of positive no therefore 1 plus x the whole power of n means 1 plus n x plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square again n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x cube so now from here x is equal to minus x but power of n is equal to 1 by 2 what will happen 1 plus n value 1 by 2 into x minus x then plus n into means again 1 by 2 into n minus 1 means minus 1 by 2 2 factorial means 1 by 2 into x square means minus x the whole square plus dot 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 so now 1 minus x by 2 next condition there plus into minus minus but minus x the whole square means positive x square divided by true 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 therefore 8 will come this is first term answer okay i will write it here the first term 1 minus x by true minus x square by 8 i am moving to second term second term means power of minus 1 by 2 power of minus 1 by 2 1 plus x the power of minus 1 by 2 so what the formula 1 plus x the whole power of minus n means 1 minus n x plus n plus n into n plus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square so minus plus next minus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x cube so here x positive but power of the value minus 1 by 2 isn't it therefore 1 minus n value x as it is x n value sorry my dear so n is equal to minus 1 by 2 sorry n is equal to 1 by 2 x is equal to x as it is therefore 1 minus x into n value sorry first n value 1 by 2 into x as it is then plus next condition again n 1 by 2 then n plus 1 means definitely 3 by 2 isn't it because 1 by 2 plus 1 means 3 by 2 then 2 factorial means we can write now 1 by 2 then x square means x square only plus next minus no minus dot 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 therefore 1 minus x by 2 next one 3 into x square positive no positive 3 x square divided by 8 this is second case isn't it minus dot 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 now look at there product no 1 minus x the whole power of 1 by 2 what the answer we have So, 1 minus x the whole power of 1 by 2 into 1 plus x the whole power of negative 1 by 2 is equal to first one answer 1 minus x square minus x square by 8. Then product 1 minus x by This is my mistake, no? This is actually what the answer? 1 minus x by 2. Then minus x square by 2 into 1 minus x by 2 plus 3x square by 8. Then multiply, no? First term, each and every time, don't mean same term repeat. 1 minus x by 2 plus 3x square by 8. Second one, 1 into minus x by 2 means minus x by 2. Again, minus into minus plus x square by 4. Next condition plus into minus minus 3x cube by. So, this is actually biggest number now because when x is very small, isn't it? So, when x is very small means one more condition. What is the condition? Just we have to multiply minus x square by 2 into 1 means definitely what the term will come? Minus x square by 8 only. Now, minus x by 2, minus x by 2. Minus x by 2, minus x by 2 means minus 2x by 2. Therefore, 2 to cancel means only x. Therefore, first one, 1 minus x. Next case, 
So we have to show the common denominator 8, isn't it? So common denominator 8 means what will happen? 3x square by 2. Three x square by eight, then plus x square by four, then minus x square by eight. This is equivalent fraction means true into true. Now eight means three x square, then plus two x square minus x square. Therefore. 3x square plus 3x square means 5x square, then minus x square divided by 8. Therefore, 5x square minus x square means 6x square divided by 8. So, 6 and 8, how many times? 3 by 4, isn't it? Now, so again also my mistake, this is actually 5x square minus x square means 4x square. So, this is 8. Again, 4 and 8, how many times? x square by 2. This is actually positive sign, no? Positive 1 minus x plus positive x square by 2, my dear. So, what we have to prove? 1 minus x, 1 minus x plus x square by 2. This is our proof, okay? One of the important questions, okay? I will continue the next question. Be stay on the line. I'm moving to question number 8 from exercise 5.4 question if p minus q is small compare p or q then show that okay show that nth root of p by q approximately n plus 1 into p plus n minus 1 into q over n minus 1 into p plus n plus 1 into q okay so now one by one the given condition so given condition nth root of p by q. So nth root of p by q just we have to modify p by q the whole power of 1 by n. The next step look at there next step. So p numerator and denominator just into true okay 2 p by 2 q the whole power of 1 by n. Now 2 p just split it what is the value p plus p okay not p plus q 2 p means what is the meaning p plus p divided by q plus q then just add one more term the plus q and minus q as well as denominator plus p and minus p okay this is actually already we know this is whole term of 1 by n now look at there p plus q is equal to p plus q the next one plus p minus q plus p minus q the whole term divided by again starting with the p now the we can write now p plus q next one look at there minus take common outside means p minus q p minus q now the whole power of 1 by n so each and every term divided by p plus q both numerator and denominator what will happen both the numerator and denominator means p plus q divided by p plus q then plus p minus q divided by p plus q whole term divided by p plus q divided by p plus q then minus of p minus q divided by p plus q now this is cancel is as well as the denominator also one therefore one plus p minus q divided by p plus q divided by 1 minus p minus q divided by p plus q. Now, this is whole power of 1 by n, isn't it? The whole power of 1 by n. Here also the whole term of 1 by n. Now, separate means what will happen? 1 plus p minus q over p plus q the whole power of 1 by n divided by 1 minus p minus q divided by p plus q the whole power of 1 by n. This is one formula no 1 plus x the whole power of n means 1 plus n into x dot 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 but this condition what is the condition modulus x less than 1. 
So now we can apply now. First two term is enough. But you have to write instead of equal, we can write it in equal. That is approximate symbol. So now 1 plus n into x. n is equal to 1 by n into. Then x means p minus q divided by p plus q. Okay, this is one term. Then divided by. So symbol, we should be right in center of the term. Okay, approximate. Then divided by. But this is power of minus isn't it so look at there this is center actually one minus is there so therefore what will happen so one so power of but positive both the side power of positive but center denominator minus sign therefore we can write it because if you take minus sign means what will happen the x value will be compared with minus of p minus q divided by p plus q remaining everything same as well as numerator okay so therefore, 1 minus will come because n into x means there is plus and minus means minus sign. Then n value, what is the value as well as 1 by n into n, x is equal to p minus q divided by p plus q. The minus already considered for center, okay. Now what will happen? So approximately, the common denominator n into p plus q. So, n into p plus q. It's not enough this space, okay. So, approximately n into p plus q. So, 1 into something means what will happen? The same one n into p plus q. Then plus p minus q. Then divided by n into p plus q. So, minus of p minus q, whole time divided by n into p plus q. So, n into p plus q, n into p plus q cancel. Now, if you multiply with n means n p plus n q, then plus p minus q divided by there n p plus n q minus into p means minus p. Again, minus into minus plus q. Now, again approximately, so, p take common outside means definitely n plus 1. Then, plus q take common outside means n minus 1. Divided by, again, look at their denominator, p take common outside means n minus 1 will come. Then, plus q take common outside means n plus 1. Look at their what we have to prove. So, approximately symbol, n plus 1 into p, n plus 1 into p, then n minus 1 into q, n minus, then denominator, n minus 1 into p, then n plus 1 into q. So, this is the one part. Then one more condition, hence find 8th root of 15 by 16, isn't it? So, 8th root means n is equal to, we can consider. So, n is equal to 8, then p is equal to 15, then q is equal to 16. Now look at there, n plus 1, isn't it? So n plus 1 means n is equal to 8. We found answer, p of p is equal to what the value? p is equal to 15 into n plus 1 means 8 plus 1. Next one, plus n minus 1 means 8 minus 1 into q. q is equal to 16. The whole term divided by, again n minus 1. So n minus 1 means 8 minus 1 into p. p, what is the value? 15 then plus plus 8 n plus 1 so 8 plus 1 into q q value 16 so 8 plus 1 9 into 15 plus 8 minus 1 7 into 16 divided by again 8 minus 1 7 into 15 again 8 plus 1 9 into 16 so 15 into 9 what the answer 9 5 is 45 4 1 9 is 9 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 so, 135 plus 16 into 7, 7, 6 are 48, isn't it? So, 6, 6 are 36, 7, 42, sorry, my dear, 42, no? So, 2, 4, 1, 7 are 7, 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. So, 1, 1, true. Divided by 15 into 7, 15 into 5, 7 are 35, 3, 1, 7 are 7, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So, 1, 0, 5. Then, last one, 16 into 9, 9, 6 are 54, 5, 1, 9 are 9. 9 plus 5 means 144. Therefore, 112 and 135. 
So, 1 troll. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. This is called 247 divided by 144105. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. This is called 249. So, approximately we have the answer 0 0.99169 will come. This is approximately similar. Okay. This is our answer. Okay. I will continue the next question. Okay. We stay on the line. So, last question. This is called actually question number 10. Okay. From exercise 5.4. Find the value of summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1. Inside 2 term is the first term 1 by 9 to the power n minus 1 plus 1 by 9 to the power 2n minus 1. Listen, solution. The first condition, if you remove the bracket, means summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1. So, 2n minus 1 into 1 by 9 to the power n minus 1 plus 1 by 2n minus 1 into 1 by 9 to the power 2n minus 1. So, first one n is equal to 1 means what will happen? So, 2 into 1, 2 minus 1. So, 1 will come into again 1 minus 1 means 1 by 9 to the power 0 plus second term n is equal to 1 means. So, n is equal to 1 means what will happen? First one I am taking for only first term. Okay. Now, again n is equal to 1 means 1 by 2 into 1, 2, 2 minus 1 means 1. Next condition, sorry, my dear, 1 is clear, no. Next, n is equal to 2, 2 means 2 into 2, 4, 4 minus 1 means 3 into, again 1 by 9 to the power 3 minus 1 means 2. Next term, plus 3 means 2 into 3, 6, 6 minus 1 means 5 into 1 by 9 to the power 3 minus 1 means so, this is actually 2 minus 1. So, 2 minus 1 means 1 will come. The next condition, look at there. 3 minus 1 means true. Next one, n is equal to 4. This is 1, true, 3 is over. Then 4 means 1 by 2 into 4. Actually, 4 means what will happen? So, 2 into 4, 8. 8 minus 1 means 7. So, 1 by 7. Then into 1 by 9 to the power 4 minus 1. Definitely 3 will come. This is first term, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Then plus, this is first one. Second one, again first n is equal to 1. 1 by 2 minus 1 means 1 into 1 by, again 1 means 9 to the power 2 into 1, 2 minus 1. So, 2 minus 1 means only 1, isn't it? The next condition, Next one plus n is equal to 2 means 1 by 2 into 2, 4. 4 minus 1 means 3 into 1 by 9 to the power 2 into 2 means 4. 4 minus 1 means 3. Then plus n is equal to 3 means 2 into 3, 6. 6 minus 1 means 5. Again into 1 by 9 to the power 2 into 3 means 6. 6 minus 1 means 5. 9 to the power 5. Next condition 4 means 1 by 2 into 4 means 8. 8 minus 1 means 7. So, 8 minus 1, 7 into 1 by 9 to the power 2 fours are 8. 8 minus 1 means 9 to the power 7. This is not 97. 1 by 9 to the power 7. So, first, second over. Next, look at there. Simplify now. 1 by 1 means 1. 1 by power 9 is also anything power 0 value 1. Therefore, we can write it 1 only. Plus, next condition, 1 by 1 by 3 into 1 by 9 is. Therefore, we can write now 1 by 9 divided by 3. Then, plus here also 1 by 9 square divided by 5. Second term, 1 by 9 cube divided by 7. This is first term, dot, dot, dot. So, next is second step. 1 into 1 by 9. So, we can write directly 1 by 9 plus again 1 by 9 cube divided by 3. Then plus 1 by 9 to the power 5 divided by 5. Last one, 1 by 9 to the power 7 divided by 7. Then plus dot dot dot. So, after arranging, 
the one formula is there what is the formula log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to true of x plus x cube by 3 then x power 5 divided by 5 plus dot 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 therefore the condition you have to show so power 3 means divided by denominator also 3 power 5 means denominator 5 but the second term we will show like that no so power 3 means divided by 3 power 5 means divided by 5 power 7 means divided by 7 therefore we can rearrange it true bring out opposite side means of log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to the same term will be repeat so first term we have to equating we have to show like second term but there is nothing to power isn't it so what we have to do so 1 plus one plus one by nine we can write now one by three the whole square then divided by three then next condition already one by nine square is there there if you write one by three the whole square already two is therefore two into two means four divided by five next condition one by three the whole cube so square means two threes are six the whole time divided by seven dot 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 then plus second one so 1 by 9, 1 by 9, then plus 1 by 9, the whole cube divided by 3, then 1 by 9, the whole power 5 divided by 5, then 1 by 9, the whole power 7 divided by 7 plus dot dot dot. So second term is clear like the formula wise. So first one, one more rearrange it. So because the power 2 is a denominator only power 2 but denominator 3, we have to show power and the denominator value also same okay so what we have to rearrange look at there so each and every time into 1 by 3 means we can write now 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 means what is the meaning 1 by 3 the whole square so already so we can add it one more power means the 2 plus 1 automatically 3 will come so what we have to do each and every time into 1 by 3 okay so into 1 by 3 means we can take it outside one uh, constant then only 1 by 3 into 3 means cancel okay so 1 into 1 by 3 means 1 by 3 already 1 by 3 the whole square is therefore we can write it 1 by 3 the whole cube divided by 3 plus 1 by 3 the whole power 5 no 5 divided by 5 plus 1 by 3 1 by 3 the whole power 7 divided by 7 plus dot 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 then second term as it is, isn't it? Second term. What is the second term? Plus, already we have written. So 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 the whole cube divided by 3. Then 1 by 9 the whole power 5 divided by 5. Then 1 by 9 the whole power 7 divided by 7 plus dot dot dot. Now we can apply log 1 plus x instead of x the first term what is the meaning 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 second term instead of x we can write it 1 by 9 1 by 9 1 by 9. So look at there log of half into no so half into log of 1 plus 1 by 3 divided by again log of 1 plus 1 by 9 again 1 by 2 log of simplify now 1 into 3 means 3 plus sorry outside one more first term 3 is there no therefore we here we will come the first term sorry my dear first term outside constant 3 is there no therefore 3 by 2 log of 1 plus 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 then second term there is nothing to constant so therefore we can write it log of 1 plus 1 by 9 divided by 1 minus 1 by 9 again first one 3 by 2 so log of 1 into 3 means 3 plus 1 divided by 3 whole time divided by again 3 minus 1 divided by 3 so 3 3 cancel second one log of 9 plus 1 divided by 9 again 9 minus 1 divided by 9 here also 9 9 cancel again 3 by 2 
log of 3 plus 1, 4 by 2 plus again log of 9 plus 1, 10 divided by 9 minus 1, 8. So, 4 and 2, 2 times. So, 10 and 8, 5 by 4. Outside common first one, 3 by 2 is there. Inside log, true only, isn't it? So, no need to bracket. Directly we can write it 3 by 2 into log true plus log 5 by 4, isn't it? Log 5 by 4. Now, the power rule means what is the meaning? 3 bring out opposite side means 1 by 2 into log true cube plus log 5 by 4. Already we know log a plus log b means what is the meaning? Log a plus log b is equal to log of a into b, isn't it? Therefore, 1 by 2 log 2 cube means we can write now 8, then 5 by 4. 4 and 8 how many times? 2 times. Therefore, final answer. So, final answer 1 by 2 into log of 2 into 5 means 10. This is answer for question number 10. Okay. So, I hope you have understand this question. So, if you have any doubt, you can put in comment box. Okay. I will continue the next question.